Hey, uh, so I wanted to wrap up our value stocks here and close out with Starbucks, Disney, and Visa. Visa is a new one to us, so we're, we're kind of going to start from scratch with that one. Uh, but we're going to start with Starbucks, then go to Disney, and then Visa. Uh, and as I'm going through this, if you have any questions or uh, just want to add anything from your perspective, by all means, feel free to add that in the comments. Um, but otherwise, yeah, let's just look into this. Uh, so starting with Starbucks, last time we looked at them was about two months ago. At, at that point, it was trading at 104. We had buy points, multiple buy points at 81 all the way up to 97. Um, so we'll see how that's going to be changed. Uh, also resistance at 108 and 113. Again, we'll see how that's, if that needs updated. Uh, and we also noted that it was in a decent uptrend for the past year, and it's sideways for the past four months. So let's just look at the technical chart. And uh, again, uh, if I didn't say it, uh, this is just going to be technical analysis, no, no news related, unless I think of something off the top of my head. Uh, so yeah, here we have Starbucks. Uh, so this is that uptrend that I was referring to. It looks like just recently, over the past month, it kind of broke trend and is actually near one of our green buy points at 97. So this one actually might be a decent time to buy this one. Um, so just looking at my tracker, uh, the last time we looked at this was right around here. Uh, so 104, that's what we have. Uh, since then, it's peaked at about 113, which we actually noted as a resistance point. It's got rejected, and here it's bounced back to what seems to be a line of support at 97 and that's pretty much exactly how we drew it up uh, we just happened to catch this one at a perfect opportunity I suppose uh, so if I just update it uh, so it's gone from uh, I think 104 to now 97 uh, buy points we had 97 which again that's that green line here which I might just make that a, a thicker line because we do have a decent amount of support here going back to December of last year uh, for whatever reason 97 seems to be a, a decent value for this one um, so in terms of a buy point uh, I also marked 91 uh, I'm not sure exactly why I picked that point uh, I'm just looking in the past I guess there was some support there um, uh, I guess I must have marked that a fair value um, but yeah, not much weight behind that one specifically. So I might actually remove that one. Uh, 81 also seemed to be a support line back here in about third quarter of 22. So like September to about November, it acted as support. So I would also be interested in buying there, but for our sake, uh, I'm going to keep 97 and 81 if it were to break lower. Um, so I'm removing that 91. Uh, I'm tempted to just delete this line, but I'll keep it in, uh, probably look at it later. Um, and then resistance, 108, which was right here, and 113, which ultimately it did touch on. Um, the 108, uh, I must have just put that because it seemed like it hit its head here in like January of this year and it got rejected uh, and then here we are at 113 so uh, for now I guess I will keep 108 but I'm gonna make 113 the bold point because that seems to be the more important line to us today I'm also gonna bold 97 because again that's uh, at least in the near term seems to be the more important time or the more important uh, buy point uh, to update our note in a decent uptrend for the past year, um, I'm going to just add in recently broke the uptrend from, when did it start? About June of 22 up until May from uh, June 2022 until May. 
uh, sideways for the past four months. You know, I, I'm actually going to keep that. Uh, yes, we did have this little pop above, but overall, I would say we still are in that sideways range between about 97 and 108, uh, going back to December. So I'll just update that slightly. And uh, sideways, let's see, consolidation between uh, 97 and 108 since, what did we say? December, December 2022. Um, okay, I, I think I'm good with this. Uh, no real change. If anything, I might remove this blue line next video possibly. Um, and also depending on how this reacts over the next say month or just whenever we circle back, uh, this trend line might actually get removed. Uh, but this is the update that we have here for Starbucks. So right now I'm giving this one a buy. Uh, we're at one of our buy points. What we're saying is the more critical one. And of course, if it drops lower, we might wait until 81. But for now, I, I like this one. Uh, we can also update the dates to today. And uh, resistance is at 113. So we have a little bit of wiggle room there. Decent profit, I suppose. Uh, and so our note, we just said, it's recently broke the uptrend, which was from June of 22 up until May of 23. And overall, it's been in the sideways consolidation between 97 and 108 since December of 2022. Uh, so yeah, if you have anything you wanna add to that, or if, if you wanna just what your thoughts are, by all means, let me know. Uh, but for now, let's move on to Disney. So again, uh, last time we looked at this was about two months ago. Uh, at that point, it was trading at $99. We had a buy point marked at 93, also resistance at 109 and 122. And it was relatively flat recently. So let's see how that's changed. Uh, so here's Disney. It looks like what we drew in here is we noticed a very minor uptrend, but also a uh, decline here. Uh, the decline has been going on since August of 22. Our uptrend was from January of this year. And it looks like ultimately the um, decline is winning here. And uh, so right off the bat, I'm kind of thinking this is a good buy for us. Uh, I'm just going to zoom out a little bit. Uh, we're going to find out if this one wants to test 83. Uh, I, from what I recall, I know Disney was kind of going through some troubles, but I mean, this is just such a well-known company. Um, whatever they're going through, I'm sure it'll work out. Uh, the one news thing is I remember there was something with taxes, and so taxes might be an issue where I think before Disney was paying hardly any tax on their property in like the Florida location and I believe now they're gonna have to start paying some sort of tax so I'm not sure how many thousands or millions that could potentially be but that is a probable cause for why we're seeing this drop is people are expecting hey uh, their normal tax expense is five million dollars well now it's going to be seven million something like that uh, we'll dig into it but uh, just sticking with the technicals here um, this one seems like it's going to be a buy I can tell you that uh, so for now I'm going to I'm going to remove the purple line because that clearly isn't what's happening here and uh, we'll just kind of see how low this one goes but based on our horizontal our um, consolidation window that we refer to as being relatively flat um, you know it's been in this range between about 92 93 and 122 and really 109 since about May of last year so almost a full year it's just been in this zone and the fact that we've dipped below I think we'll see something similar to what happened in like January of this year where it dips below and it's gonna 
pop back up. Uh, we'll just see if it continues to kind of trend downwards. If it does, you know, this might be a short-term loss, but I don't know. I, I feel like this is going to be overall a good buy, say, five, ten years down the road, but uh, that's just my opinion. If Let me know what your thoughts are, but let's just update this, the tracker. So uh, from $99, and just for reference sake, if we zoom in, last time we looked, it was right around here, this little red line. And since then, relatively flat, ultimately it pulled back, and here we are now. Uh, so currently from 99 all the way down to 92 today, buy point of 93, I'm going to keep that in. Uh, what we could do is, I mean, we could add that this black line in. Um, and that was just drawn in because that seemed to be the all-time lows of that crash. Uh, so we could potentially put that in and yeah, I, I guess I will, but I'm going to make 93 the bold number because uh, I feel like that's more of the support line. Uh, but I will add in 83, but I'll make 93 bold. Uh, for resistance, uh, for right now, I, I have 109, which is that blue line. Again, I just picked that because right here, it seemed to get rejected. Also here, it was close enough that I would say that. Um, and then we also had 122 because again, it was rejected here in uh, last year. And I think that's really all it was going off of. Uh, I guess it kind of acted as resistance here for a little bit. I, hopefully you see what I'm, what I'm seeing here. Uh, so I guess for now, in the short term, like what would I say is the more um, impactful resistance point? It's probably 109 today. Uh, hopefully that doesn't last much longer, but at least for today, that seems like it's gonna be a struggle point uh, in the near future. And then we'll just update the date. Uh, the note of relatively flat, uh, you know, I'll just add a little more detail to that saying, uh, it's been in this consolidation window since May of 22, uh, relatively flat since May 2022, uh, between about 93 and 109, and 109, uh, and yes, I realize it, it popped above for about a month, and it dipped below for close to a month here, and here we are again. Uh, we'll see how this plays out. Um, but yeah, that, that's pretty much all I have here. Uh, so I'm gonna mark this one a buy also. And um, yeah, then we'll just move on to Visa. So uh, just the quick summary here. Uh, so Disney's currently at 92. Our buy points still at 93. I decided to add in 83 just to see if it does touch those lows again, but really 93 is the number I'm most looking at. And then resistance at 109 and 122. 122 is like our ultimate uh, pivot point, but 109 seems to be the short term, might struggle to get over that for a little bit. And then our note we just updated to say relatively flat since May of 2022. So, over a full year now where it's really just been trading between about a not like a $15 range where it's just been trading in there but um, we're we're now at one of those dip points where I I would be interested in buying this and I probably will um, so let's move on to Visa again this is a new one so bear with me as I kind of set this up uh, so right off the bat, again, each one of these bars is a weekly chart. Uh, what I've done with the other ones is I'll just pull up the past three years uh, because most stocks hit kind of like what seemed to be an all-time low in 2020, it, at least in terms of um, where the stock was heading and where it's been going since that crash. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll just start it off kind of like normal. Uh, as I've set up the other ones, I'll draw on this point as like a black. Uh, that's kind of like, uh, we, should we worry at that point? Or is this just a even better buy opportunity? 
and then I'll put a black line here to represent uh, the all-time high. Uh, kind of similar there where only it's the opposite thinking is if we start to see new highs, you know, this one could shoot off another $10, $20 without us really even for no reason at all, really, just other than the fact that people want it because it's it's hitting those points. Um, and then in terms of like resistance, uh, this seems to be a good spot here. Uh, so I'm gonna make this one red. And the reason I'm picking that is because it hit its head here once in like April, May of 21. Again, it tested that point in October of 21. It kind of got close. I mean, if we zoom in, you can see there's tails here where it people were trading at that level, but ultimately it fell back. So I'm including that as a third instance. Uh, more recently, again, it touched there in February of this year. And then most recently uh, in May, it, it actually went above the, that resistance mark but as you can tell it's we're here back below it <clears throat> um, if I had to draw in a support line uh, that seems to be right in this area uh, let me just see how that looks that seems to be the more recent trend um, and we're gonna make this green uh, so I'm picking that mark uh, because I'm seeing one chance where it dipped to that point, but more or less acted as support back in January of 21. Then in December of 21, it got really close to that, that point, which is 193, bounced right back up. Again, in March of 22, got very close. There were, and if we zoom in, we can see there were traders that were like down below that point. Ultimately, it came back up. Uh, here's another time in June of 22 where it dropped below, but again, rebounded very quickly. And then this is the nastiest of the bunch back in October of 22 where it really pulled down below uh, to 175. So we could probably uh, put in another buying opportunity down here uh, because if we scale back in late 20, 2020, I mean, uh, you can see it got very close to that point and rebounded. So two buy points, one, 193 is like the real buy point, but 176 would be like uh, like a load the boat type situation. Not, not literally, but you know, if you wanted to build out a position, you'd probably want to add more, like double down into a stock like this at 176. Uh, and then I normally will put in like a fair value point and all that really is is just if I come across another instance of resistance or support uh, which I'm, I'm liking this line uh, without giving too much thought of course into it um, and I'm, I'm feeling like that's kind of a resistance point you can see it it struggled to get over it once in late 2020 uh, here it dipped below and it acted as resistance in late 21 again in early 2022 uh, here in mid 2022 and this is the most recent one in november of 22 and then if we look on the flip side we could also say it kind of acted as support for a little bit because again back in late 21 it acted as support where it got close to 214 bounced right back up um, and I guess this would be the only other case of that where in March of this year it got down to that level but bounced right back up so interesting um, I guess we can start filling this out uh, let me just scale this up a little bit uh, bear with me here there we go. Uh, so currently, oh, my mouse is like freezing on me. Okay, so currently it's at 223, uh, and I can put in the date for now. Um, I am seeing an uptrend since about November 
or not November, um, September of last year. So let's let's put in a trend line, see if that kind of makes sense here. If we can kind of, and I can put this in many ways, you know. Um, you know, I could have used this point as the uptrend. I'm just choosing this one because it's kind of in the middle of where it is today and then this one. But um, we'll kind of see how this plays out. Uh, this might not be, the, this uptrend that we're putting in, it might get removed very quickly, like by the end of the month. Uh, and then for this, I'm just going to kind of click a spot but keep it parallel as best as I can. Uh, so that's probably not the best spot. Yeah, so I mean, overall, I'm, I'm not really liking this one uh, in terms of buying right now. Um, yeah, I, I guess Resistance right off the bat, I'm comfortable putting in 231. I feel like that's that's good. I'm I'm also going to say 193 is the buy point. Uh, will we get to that point again in the near future? Maybe not. Maybe not. But if we do cross 214 in the next, say, month, we could very likely come back to 193. So I'm just going to keep that in mind. We'll follow this one. Uh, over time, we'll kind of get more comfortable with it. If I were to put in a note here, um, right off the bat, I can say uh, in an uptrend since uh, September of 2022, uh, I can also say it's been consolidating between, <clears throat> uh, let's see, between 193 between 193 and 231 for the most part um, again I'm gonna say it's been in that range since about August of 2020 since August 2020 uh, and I think that's good for a note on this one at least today. And again, I I know I'm putting that range in there and I realize here's one opportunity where it actually crashed below that point, but it bounced back the very next week. Here, Here's a second opportunity. Again, it bounced back the very next week. Uh, here's one, bounced back the very next week. And then the fourth and final one was the worst of them all where it dipped below and it took about a month to recover so again, nothing long term. And then above that range, yes, we had one time where it peaked above for about a month and then pulled back into our consolidation range. And here we are again today where, yes, it peaked above again for about a month and now it's pulling back in that range. So for now, there's nothing telling me that this couldn't pull back to at least 214. And I think if anything, why couldn't it pull back to 193? Uh, maybe when we dig into the news aspect of this stock sp specifically, maybe we'll uncover something. But uh, without digging in further, that's kind of what the technicals are telling me. So for this one, uh, I'm going to mark this one red because it's very close to that resistance point. And uh, that's just how I see it. So if, if you want to add any other insight to this, by all means, let me know. Uh, but this is just a quick recap of Visa here. Uh, so Visa is currently at 223. Buy point is marked at 193. Resistance is at 231. Uh, the date, of course. And then our note is it's in that uptrend since September of 2022. But it's also been consolidating between 193 and 231 since August of 2020. So uh, I'm definitely giving the consolidation range uh, more weight here and uh, we'll see how it plays out uh, I'm looking forward to digging into this one for sure and um, just so well well that's pretty much it so uh, please like subscribe and I'll see you on the next one bye guys